Hey guys, and welcome back to Audit Watch, the best place to find your favorite police interactions on the internet. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you are new around here. But anyways, let's get straight into today's episode. Not film in places yeah. such as this. And you're a this, this is, is public ours. property. Yes, I am. That's horrible that our, you don't know that. This is our property, and you're filming into a private police. This video is brought to us by True North Transparency. Be sure to subscribe to their channel. The link will be down in the description. The video begins at the Toronto Police 51 Division. The man is filming with a fellow auditor. The cops come out all hostile towards the men and question their recording. The female sergeant thinks it is their property and not the people's. She keeps repeating that it is the Toronto police's property. The male officer says very little and watches on as the female officer continues to argue with the men. The men end up winning. Watch the full clip to see the cops end up doing the walk of shame. Why do you think you're using the private property over there? That's not private. Well, it's a secure facility. There is a police for a secure facility. Yeah, that's why we're not in it. But you're on the property? You make you this is public. Property. This is public property, this sir. This is public property. But why are you guys making video? That's your question. Why not? Because there's something you're looking for? Why are you guys we're done video? answering questions. Yeah. Okay. We're in public filming. That's all you need to know. There's no need. That's fine. Yes. Make your own privacy. You can film anything you can see yeah, from public. You don't want people to look in there. Why don't you close the uh, doors there? There's is there doors there? Circumstances. I don't want to close the doors. Why that door can't close there? What's your name? My I can't name pronounce here. that. Well, you can read it, right? No. Right here. What is it? You're catching me on your camera right here. You want to say your name? Oh, that's my badge number. Yeah. Thanks, man. Very helpful. Actually, this is our property. This nah, is our no, no. This is the city's. The city's property. The city's property that we we run. Yeah, okay? no, you work this for us. Our, you okay, work listen, for us. You work for us. This is in our the facility, city. and unless you want to go stand on the sidewalk, we can remove you from our property. No, you can. I, yes, you can. know what? Before we go any farther here, yeah, I have a right under the freedom of press to exercise the freedom of press I'm under aware. the Charter of Rights. And you, the Charter of Rights, Section 2B, protects us from people like you who think that we cannot film in places yeah. such as this. And you're a sergeant? This, this is public sergeant? property. Yes, I am. That's horrible that our, you don't know that. This is our property, and you're filming into a private police facility, into a private Are these garage. Are these your bikes? Is this what you guys use to yeah. get around town? property into this area is our property okay i just wanted to let you know that if you at any point go on the actual property then we could remove you but if you want to stay in the public area you're welcome to Sign exercising a right listen like i said this is still our property like you said Quit the, side, that. the sidewalk you is here that. Yeah, you sergeant. gotta stop that this is our property i am sergeant. a sergeant and that's what i'm doing here talking to you property. and explaining it's it to town's you property this is the toronto property. police's property I'll no, no, no. And what I would like to say is that it isn't your property. It, it really isn't what you should do. And I mean this, like when people do come around, uh, is treat it as the people's property. You guys work to protect and serve us from from having our that's, rights violated. That's what we sign up for. Yeah. But this is a facility. Don't treat us like we're out here. Us, Hold on. Right? Don't treat well, us like we're criminals board. right off the bat. Those two did. They treated us like we were criminals from the start. Come out and have a nice conversation. You have been very respectful. Those two guys came out a little hot uh, for my liking. It was not very professional. The one guy and they would not, neither one of them would identify themselves using their name and badge number. And I, you, you jumped to trespassing and removing us from the property. And the other two guys treated us like we were criminals the second they came out. Just make sure you get a legitimate reason as to why you were filming. And you don't then, need one. And then we, we wanted to make sure that you understood where our concern was and if that you came into the garage that there would be consequences that's all we wanted to do okay i want to hear this able to trespass people from our property sure you can the toronto police service. sure you can that's if we break the law if they break if, the law if you engage in an act on our property that is not lawful purpose prohibited for, or it's prohibited in any way you can be removed from the property. exactly that we're not doing that, that are i was we? trying to explain to you and, we're and not free doing press that, is a very we? legal reason making a video freedom of expression it it denotes yes. that you can gather all the content you want and that's covered under the section 2b of the charter I, of rights we are invoking those rights. rights those rights have been invoked it's and totally fine sir okay let's go inside okay search that up what i told you and get rid of that entitlement please be respectful to
You would have thought that this was the property of the female officers by the way that she was defending it from the two auditors to use. She really just kept on arguing the same point and tried to stop the men at all costs. The men ended up handling the situation well as they made the cops do the walk of shame. The man did say that the cops weren't being as professional as they could. They jumped straight to trespassing them. How can you give it all this talk and try to argue with the auditors to then just walk away and do the walk of shame? Embarrassing. What do you guys think about these two officers? You can't choke my rights. Okay. You can't cease and surge me. You can't search me without committing a crime. You. Yes, sure is. You're searching me coming through a metal detective yes, without, a, without a crime. This clip is brought to us by Javier is News. A big shout out to Javier. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. His link will be down in the description. The clip starts off with Javier at a school going to meet his son. He gets hands put on him by a cop for apparently violating the school's policy. Once again, we see the cops acting like they are policy enforcers and not the law enforcement, which is what they are literally paid to do. They follow Javier and basically swarm him as he walks away. Watch the full clip to see the cops try and intimidate him away. Y'all did the wrong mistake. Come on. Y'all did the wrong mistake. Look, you forget where you come from, man. You forget your colors, man. You forget your colors, huh? Huh? Ain't no intimidation. Ain't no intimidation. That's free to speech. You know what I'm saying? It's free to speech. It's free to speech. It don't matter, man. It's free to speech. It always it's been like that, man. It's been like that. No, it's not. Ain't ain't nothing like that, man. I got everything on body cam. I came in here without me getting charged. That's a that's not a policy. A policy is a violation of my constitution, right? It's like it's, it's for it's a, it's a, I'm telling you, but so what? It's a, it's a policy. You, you trump my rights. You trump my rights. It's a policy. It's a policy. It's a policy. You can't trump my rights, my man. You can't trump my rights. You can't cease and search me. You can't search me without committing a crime. Yes, sure is. You're searching me coming to a metal detective without a, without a crime. Without a crime. No, no, you don't put your hands on me still. You don't put your hands on me. I want your lieutenant here, man. Right, because it's a, it's a it's a part it's a it's a it's a constitution right man you saw oath to the constitution bro cease and surges bro cease and surges cease and surges bro you don't put your hands on me you don't put your hands on me you can't and you can't you can't do that you can't put the hands on you on the people without doing nothing i didn't commit no crime it's all good yeah it's all good when i it's a lawsuit now now it's gonna be a lawsuit bro javier montavo yeah okay what are you here for i'm here for my son where's your son at and here Okay, why don't you just and call him meet him. Come down. No, I got to meet him here. You got to meet him? Yeah, I got a meeting. I meet team. Who's the meeting with? With the principal and the, and the, Where's and the, the school. Where's the principal? And there. Okay, does she want to talk to you or he want to talk to you? No, nah, he said okay, he didn't. Well, then you don't have a meeting. Let's go. Okay, well, hold on. on. No, don't, put, don't put your hands on I'm me, I'm not putting man. your hands on me. Don't put your on. hands on me. I'm, right, I'm, I got go. the right. You can't. Let's you go. Can't, you What's can't. your date of birth again? You don't need my date of birth. I didn't commit no crime. I ain't coming no D crime, D man. You know me, Montavo. bro. I care what you I'll do. take it to the court. And like how they put their hands on me, now they're going to get a lawsuit. Okay, let them sue the hell out of me. Bitch, you know me, bro. You know me. Would you look at that? Cop putting his hands on Javier. And Javier is right to threaten them with a lawsuit, especially if they think that it is acceptable to do this. And it looks like he was even about to do it again. And why are there so many cops around him? He's literally just trying to pick his kid up from school. I'm not sure what policy they think he broke, but I'm also not sure why they kept following him everywhere he goes. Maybe these policy enforcers should go and enforce the law elsewhere like they should be doing. Okay, so what's your, what's your... Surprising to me that the postmaster wouldn't know that, but... Do you not understand that you're scaring people? Is what how? you're trying to get at. I would like to know how. Because they're concerned. They don't know... You... This video is brought to us by Long Island Audit. A big shout out to Sean. His link will be down in the description, so make sure you go to his channel and subscribe if you aren't already. The video begins with Sean filming in a post office in Carmel, New York. The postmaster calls the cops on Sean. Sean shows the cops poster 7. After seeing this, the cop decides to educate the postmaster even after at first thinking that Sean was scaring people. The sergeant turns up and is open to education, but in the end tries to give a cop's explanation. Watch the clip to try and decipher the cop's explanation. Post office in Carmel, New York, Putnam County. No, I don't work for the post office. I'm sorry? I'm not allowed to take photos? Why? 
Well, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a public citizen taking po pictures in a in post office. I'm not really supposed to. I think I am. Building? No, yeah, I, I understand this is a federal building. Pictures? Yeah, I'm just taking pictures and video. Oh. That's it. Oh. Okay. Is there what, a reason? What, what, what's your name? Is there a reason for well, you taking videos and pictures? Just so, just so I know who I'm talking to. What's your name? Yeah, but, but why is there a reason for you doing that? I'm just curious. Well, before I can even talk to you, I want to know what your name is. Well, no, this is the, but this is the, I'm the postmaster. So you're the postmaster? Yeah, so what, what, what can I help you? What, it, what, do you I'm trying to help you right now. What can I, yeah. what, you're not supposed to be reporting in the building right now. So I just need to know why. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you why. I'm conducting business. You I'm are con conducting business. I'm conducting business right now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. you? Can I put, you have ID. You haven't even told me who you are. Do you have ID? Are you law enforcement or the postmaster? I'm the postmaster. So why are you asking me for ID, sir? Because I'm the highest ranking federal official in the city right now. So but you're not. Have a, ID. You're not a law enforcement. Do you have ID? Hey, Mr. Postmaster, do you feel good about yourself today? Calling the uh, sheriffs. I don't need any help. Well, okay, what was so your, why are you on the, on the, at the building? What was your name? Rocco? Oh, sir Rocco, why are you here? And you're just covering your uh, your badge number. Five five. Okay, why thank you. you. I'm just here, exercising okay, a First Amendment right. Okay, your First Amendment right to what? You're, you're, you're just you're filming scared. public. Okay, you're scaring people. You understand that? Well, I can say the same thing about you, but okay. you're just doing your job, right? I am doing my job because okay. these guys are scared and I'm not, wondering what's going on in here. I'm not, the, I'm not the one with weapons, sir. Okay, but you are causing a disturbance. You, you're not. I'm not causing a disturbance. Oh, okay, so you don't think scaring people is causing a disturbance? As long as I'm not, my actions aren't okay. causing a disturbance? No. no. But this is, you realize this is a government building, correct? Yeah, I understand okay. that. It's a federal building. It is. It's federal, federal public building. building. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there are Glad things we're you clear. cannot do, right? Yeah, you want me to show you something? Come here. I'll show you something. Photographs for news, advertising, commercial purposes. You okay, so what's your what's your surprising to me that the postmaster wouldn't know that, but do you not understand that you're scaring people? Is what you're trying to get at. I would like to know how. Because they're concerned. They don't know you you said you're not here to conduct any business. So do you wanna so then can I just get your name? Just for my report. Because no. I got I, every I'm if you wanna put if you, if you need to fill a report out and you you have to, there's no other choice, you can put down good citizen. That, So check this out, dude. You can you can film here. Okay, real quick, just one second. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Um, hey, postmaster, you you understand that you have a poster that says rules and regulations of the post office? Yeah. But have officer, you have have you seen it before? Yeah, what the officer said, you can film have, here. But have and you seen it before? But why card? would you call the police on me then? If you know I can film in here, you're the postmaster. You're supposed to know these things. You're wasting this officer's time. No, we. Our safety was, in, was impeded by you being here. We didn't know who you were. With the so man with the camera? Okay, just so you're aware. You can film. Yeah, you can I know that. You can be inside the building. You know, I know that. Public just, building. Public building. Like you said before, you this be, is America, you right? You can't be like filming people's transactions. People are... I would ever do that. That would be a crime. That would be a crime. That would be a crime. I would not do that. Things you can and cannot do. I understand. Okay. All right. So, right. Officer Ro Rocco, very capable of doing his job. And he... uh and he took care of it. I mean, there's really nothing else to do or say. Okay. So, you're here filming, I get that. Uh-huh. Are there, so why don't you educate me some more? Because I, I'm okay. a little unfamiliar with, were you filming inside the, the post office, outside? Both, inside and outside the post office. Okay. Inside and outside, correct. All right. And there's no, and I'm being completely honest, I don't yeah. know what the laws are for filming in a post office, because that's not something I've ever dealt with in the 17 years I've been a cop. Okay. So, what, it, do you know of any laws or anything that... that, that no, you know? there is there is no laws, because what, 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 the, what happens is, Sergeant Bodo, is that it's a public building. It's a right. federal building, but it's right. a public building, okay. open to the public. So, the First Amendment states that you can film whatever you can see from public. You want to take a look at the, uh, the rules? And regulations governing the post office. No, I, I spoke to the the postmaster. Okay. And, and we we discussed, you know, and. Okay, they're right here. Just so I, you know. Yep, I see them. I, I I read them in there too. So okay. It, you're obviously allowed to film. Mm -hmm. in, in you know, there are a couple of restrictions on it. Okay, the the transactions, the the financial transactions, those can't be on film, right? Yeah, I know right. exactly so what can't be on film. Okay. Well, Thank I, you. I didn't. Uh, this, like I said, this, and. I we, understand, and now you know, right? Right. It's, right. Impede them from doing their. Their, their work that they have to do. Honestly, sir, I, I, I don't I don't need you to, you, you're the one that's not familiar with this, not me. So with all okay. due respect, I don't need you to explain things well, to me. Okay, well, I'm gonna explain them anyway. Uh, it's, it sounds like a lot of cops explaining to me. I, I know what I'm doing. You guys needed to learn, not me. Okay. You know I what I mean? You're assuming I don't need I you to tell me. Doing. Like, I, I how did know, that I, sound? How did that sound? 
hey, when you get in your car, put on your seatbelt. Make sure you put on your seatbelt. Make sure you don't break the law. You know what I mean? It's it's me giving you directives. I don't want to be given directives. I'm a grown man. Okay, then walk away from me. I don't. I don't I'm just this postmaster really tried to use his rank and try and ID Sean just because he was recording in public. And at first, these officers must have been very confused. They really accused him of scaring people. Thankfully, he showed them poster seven and the postmaster looked really stupid when Sean told him that his own building had this poster up and he had just wasted the cop's time. The postmaster ended up getting educated. The cop at the end showed that he was clearly cop explaining to Sean and Sean pointed this out to his face. What is your guys' opinion on what these cops did in this situation? Did they handle it well or not? Well, that's called prior restraint. You can shine your light. You can't obstruct our First Amendment right. This clip is brought to us by Accountability for All. A big shout out to Josh. Be sure to subscribe to his channel. His link will be down in the description. The clip starts off with Josh with a bunch of auditors filming some cops conducting some sort of investigation. The officer shines a flashlight at their cameras, which is obstructing their First Amendment right. The supervisor de-escalates the situation perfectly by telling the officer to leave. Watch the full clip to see the cops get told to leave. He's running for mayor. That's actually called prior restraint. It's a First Amendment violation. So. Well, that's called prior restraint. You can shine your light. You can't obstruct our First Amendment right. You can be aware of your surroundings. You just can't use a light to obstruct a constitutionally protected activity. It's called prior restraint, and it's been ruled in the Supreme Court. It's illegal. So just de-escalate, bro. What's your name and badge number, dude? Hey, what's your name and badge number? I just need your name and badge number. Or do your. Well, it's his departmental policy to identify, right? And I'm not being rude to him. But I'm a supervisor. Okay. I'm asking him to leave to de escalate the situation. Okay, his name is Smith. Uh, I think 340. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the badge number. Okay, I'm Corporal Casas. You send me. Hi, Corporal. All right, any questions, guys? Good yes. Job. Yeah, you did that. You did a great okay. job. Yeah. Question. Okay. I do have a question for you. Yes, sir. Okay, so um, th this officer, he yes, he shined his light in in a fashion to obstruct a constitutionally protected activity. Supreme case law. It's called prior restraint. And at that point, he said that he could do that because it was officer safety. So I just wanted to know what statute or state code officer safety is that has, that has, makes it higher than that makes it higher than Supreme well, Court gonna, ruling. I'll direct you to our administration to answer that question. Okay. And for yourself, sir, if you want to file a complaint 100% within your right, uh, just go down to the Plainfield Police Department. I'll get all the paperwork done for you. You have a complaint forms? Or you have a, you know? yes. Cool. Nice. And do you have a business Sweet. card? Yes, sir, I do. Uh, see, that's, that's, that's nice. Excellent job de-escalating. So we've met two supervisors, okay, right. and both supervisors we've met have de-escalated and have been calm. These are certainly some bright lights. Not only the vehicle's lights, but the cop's torch that he purposely flashed straight down Josh's and the men's lenses. On top of this, he is then hesitant to give his badge number, and the supervisor has to give his name and badge number to them. The supervisor seems to be understanding of the situation and asks the men if they want to file a complaint and if they do want to, he will help them with the paperwork. Well done to this cop for de-escalating the situation here. Do you think that the men should make a complaint about the officer about him violating their First Amendment right? Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. Once again, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for your daily dose of police encounters.